I can drift too! Hey! What's up my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Flame Toys Furai model, Drift! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have some very lovely artwork of Drift Model Kit, Drift Transformers. On the the box, we have Drift on the bottom, Transformers, Drift on the other side, nothing, uh, Transformers, Drift on the back of the box. We have obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things and stuff, stuff and things. Warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along here, we have a Furai model drift, and this is the next in Flame Toys line of Transformers model kits. And yes, this is a model kit. You get a bunch of uh, these, you clip out the pieces, you put them all together, and when it's all said and done, you end up with this lovely piece of work here. And as I've said time and time again, I love these kits. I love them. They're fun. And, uh, you know, as usual, I don't do build videos on these because these take way too long to put together. And no, I don't do live streams because I don't want to do live streams. But, oop, he had a butt flap up there. He was he was exposing himself. Hey, being a little cheeky there, Drift. Being a little cheeky. Anyway, but yeah, very cool. But let's get in close here so we can take a look. Not at his chest, at that noggin. There's that noggin. And there are quite a bit of stickers that you use on this kit. As you can see, but you can see the face sculpt very nicely done. You got some nice transparent blue there for the eyes. And you got the gold stickers there, there, there. And you got these red stickers that go down the side of his face. But all in all, very cool looking head sculpt. A little spikes here are actually kind of sharp, so be careful with those. <laughs> They're very pointy, but look quite nice. You got those stickers there as well. Autobot symbol stickers. Um, there are actual molded Autobot symbols under, underneath the stickers. So, you know, th this kit gives you everything you need to actually paint it up if you want to paint it up. So, as I always say with these kits, if you don't want to use the stickers and you want to just paint it up yourself, paint it up yourself. Hey, you could probably make it look way better. But, you know, me personally, I can't paint to save my life. So, I just go with the stickers. I don't mind. I like stickers, personally. You can see the transparent blue pieces there in the chest. You can see some nice molded details in there as well. His big old shoulder pads there. Yeah, really nicely done. Real cool looking once you have it all put together. Nice shiny blue stickers there. Some gold on the crotchial region. And down his legs. Some shiny gold stickers. Some shiny blue stickers. And some shiny silver stickers. I kind of messed that one up there on his foot. Now it looks better on that side. But now well, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm not a perfectionist. I don't care. So <laughs> It's perfectly fine. I'm perfectly happy with it. You can see a little red trim there. Again, lots of nice molded detail as well. Cool. Moving up the back. Got the drift booty. Again, little vents and whatnot going on back there. And some more gold stickers. Oh no! Really good looking, really good looking drift, in my opinion. Now, articulation wise, as usual, these kits have a lot of articulation. The head itself is on a ball joint at the top, and there's also a ball joint at the base of the neck as well. So, you have a lot of wiggly waggly going on. He can look up, he can look down. Of course, the head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. Uh, they can move in and out. You can move this uh, little flap here, you can move out of the way. So, you can move the arms all the way out. The shoulder pads themselves do have articulation. They can actually pivot up and down and they can also move in and out at this axis here as well. Um, you can move the shoulders in, move them forward rather. So you can get his arms in front of his chest. You have that going on. You do have bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow right there. Uh, the wrists can rotate. This whole red assembly here is actually kind of on a ball joint, so you have a little bit of wiggle there. Um, you do have a ball jointed waist, you have some crunch, you have rotation, you even have actual side to side joint here, which is nice, that's a totally separate joint. And you can move uh, these little flaps out of the way to accommodate the leg movements. Move up his butt flap and legs, I can move forward that far. Back that far outward, you can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation, you have 
a double jointed knee, so you have a nice full range of movement there. Uh, these little bits right here, they can move up, and the feet, they can move up. There's a just a, a joint right there, and they can move down, and the toe can rotate as well as the heel can rotate. So now let's talk about accessories. You do get some alternate hands on the hands that are on him right now are just the closed fists, but you do get a pair of splayed open no hands. That's what I call them anyway, but you got a pair of splayed open hands and you also get a pair of weapon holding hands. And we'll show how these work in a little bit. And speaking of weapons, he does come with two of these big old swords here. You can see the blade's just done in gray. Some nice detail there on the handle. You can see the uh, the sheaths here. Got some gold stickers, some red, metallic red there, there. A little silver sticker right there. Then these just slide right in. They kind of clip into place. Then you get two of these, and these do store on him. You have these uh, these ports right here on the sides, and yeah, just push them in. And these are on hinges as well, so you can kind of pivot up to accommodate for your leg movements. So you just peg these in, and plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. So you got that going on right there. So you've got those two swords, and then he comes with this sword right here. You see some gold stickers there on the sheath and you just pull out the sword there it is and again the blade just done in gray but you can paint it up in silver if you want to all transclearance yellow jewel right there you can see some nice detail going on in there looks quite good and you can take this and this stores right here on his back just plug it into that port whoops like so. Make sure it all stays together. I may have to like actually glue this piece on. This is a separate piece right here. But you can see, and again, Drift's just being cheeky. He's being cheeky. Put that back down. <laughs> I just keep forgetting. Oh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. So I may have to end up just putting a little dab of glue on that so it doesn't keep coming apart. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. There you go. There so you have all of his accoutrement plugged onto him like so. And to show off how the uh, weapon holding hands work here, we'll just bring in one of the hands and the fingers do just slide right off. Ooh, come on, work with me. Work with me, man. There we go. That just slides right off and then you just put the sword in his hands and then you just slide the fingers right back on like so. And there you go. He has a nice, very nice, firm, secure grip on that hand. And you just pop the hand off, pop the new hand on, and there he is with his mighty sword. And that looks quite, quite cool. So there you have that. And now for comparison with the other Food Eye model kits. Here he is with Screamer with Bumblebee, with Megs, with Prime, and with IDW Prime. And lastly but not leastly, here he is with the uh, Mastermind Creations Drift. So you can see how that works out. So, there you go. So there you have a food eye model drift. And just like all of these kits, I love it. I absolutely love it. Just an overall cool design. Um, you know, it's a fun, enjoyable build. Nice way to pass the time. And when it's all said and done, you end up with a really cool action figure here. And like I said earlier, you know, you can use the stickers. You can pin it up. Hey, it's yours. Do what you want with it. But overall, I am quite pleased with it. And I can't wait for Devastator. Can't wait for that because that looks pretty cool too. So... There you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Flame Toys' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. 
You can also check out my Food Eye Model Kit playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Flame Toys of Food Eye Model Drift, and this is M Games saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Big geek, be proud. Home in your face! Drift! I need to speak to you! Yes, Optimus Prime! It is I, Drift! Here to do heroic things for you! My leader! Are you an Autobot or a Power Ranger? What's happening here? Can you get your hand out of my face, please? Look, I just need you to run to the market and pick me up some pizza bagels, okay? Is there honor in picking up said pizza bagels? Yes! Um, yes, there is, there is much honor in this task. Very well. Onward! For honor! I don't know what just happened here, but, uh, um, I'm just gonna get back to what I was doing.